are you? This is Luis Sandoval, FightHype.com, here with Tom Loeffler. Tom, we're doing it again here, Martin Murray. Now, it's not the big fight people wanted, but I, I consider him a very dangerous opponent. Is Gennady getting enough credit for taking on such an opponent like Martin Murray? Oh, absolutely. Murray is uh, what we consider as really an undefeated fighter. I mean, he had a draw against Felix Sturm in Germany. A lot of people thought he won that fight. He had a controversial loss against Sergio Martinez in Argentina, and many people thought he won that fight. So we're really looking at it as he's a two-time world champion. He's number one rated in the WBC. He's bigger physically than Gennady. He's a very smart fighter, very experienced fighter. And so there's no way we can underestimate Martin Murray. And, and uh, I know Abel will have Gennady prepared 100% for that fight. I know you and Team Golovkin are pretty tired of everybody asking you about the big fight. But is 2015, do you think, Tom, is going to be the year that that finally happens? Maybe not right away, but further down the line? I really think so. I really think uh, in the fall we'll see a, a big fight develop for Gennady. I can't say who, but, um, you know, whether it's Cotto, whether it's Canelo, you know, you know, Chavez now has, has his legal issues with top rank. We weren't able to get him in the ring, you know, for, for last year. But, um, you know, we keep reaching out. We keep reaching out to the names and... and uh, it's up to them to agree to fight Gennady. How beneficial and how crucial has Gennady's ability to tap into the Mexican market been for him? A lot of guys can't do that. Most of the superstars we see now have a built-in market, usually their country. He was able to tap into the Mexican fan base. Not a lot of guys have been able to do that. Is that a big reason why we see this big surge in popularity for Gennady? Uh, there's no question. I mean, the, uh, the, the record-setting uh, ticket sales at StubHub Center was, was definitely because of the, uh, the support of the Mexican uh, boxing fans. I mean, he's... He's, with his style, and he's really adopted that because of Abel as, as uh, the style he goes into the ring. I mean, Abel modeled his style after uh, Chavez Sr. And the way he stalks his uh, opponents and cuts off the ring, the only difference is, is Gennady has a, a, a big punch, so he's able to knock out guys uh, early in, in the fights. But that's really what made him popular, what's made him popular not only with the Mexican boxing fans, but boxing fans globally. I mean, I, I get so many messages and emails about, you know, when he's going to fight or where is he going to fight, and, and there's so much support, and it's just a universal universal support because of his style and his character outside the ring. He's a likable guy, and that's that's what makes him special. How confident are you that the winner of Canelo Cotto, if it happens, would give you guys a chance? A lot of people, Freddie Roach says they want the fight, but a lot of people don't think Cotto's going to want to reach in, into a Golovkin fight. What are, what are your thoughts about that? You know, it's hard for me to answer that question. Um, the w WBC is, has uh, mandated it as uh, whoever Cotto fights in, in May or whenever he fights would be, uh, you know, Gennady would be the mandatory challenger for it. It's kind of a unique situation, so we really appreciate the cooperation between the WBA and the WBC where the WBA as a super champion, you know, sanctioned, you know, that fight. So. So we have to kind of, you know, it's my job outside the ring to, to play chess. And you almost have to corner guys into into fighting Gennady. But, you know, both Cotto and, and Canelo are, uh, you know, if they fight. I mean, that fight's not done, but that would be a great fight. But they're great uh, proven champions and, and warriors. And, and I think it would really be a blow to either one of them if they decided to vacate the title and not fight, not fight Gennady. You know, Tommy, in the past you, you said a lot of the reasons a lot of guys didn't fight uh, Gennady was wasn't a lot of financial, you know, thing there for them. Now HBO's opened up their pockets, the money's there. Do you, what other hurdles do you see where Gennady won't be able to get a fight? What excuse or what other things can these fighters say that they won't fight him anymore if it's not a financial reason? I think, I think, uh, you know, they're running out of excuses. You know, HBO certainly has made Gennady a priority on their schedule and uh, on the financial side. So, you know, that excuse, along with his ticket sales, the marketability, it doesn't apply anymore, uh, you know, and... You know, certainly if there's another champion, he's not forced to unify, but that would be a big event, whether it's, you know, Andy Lee had, had agreed to fight Gennady this year, so we have a lot of respect for that, and then he just, uh, you know, had a big win, with, you know, to win the WBO title. So I think Andy is someone that would get in the ring and, and is up for a challenge. You know, Cotto's a WBC champion. Um, you know, Jermaine Taylor is fighting Sergio Mora. If Sergio Mora wins that fight, you know, he's been calling out Gennady the whole time, so, you know, if Sergio's a champion... That would be a great unif unification fight. So um, I really think that we'll see a unification fight or a pay-per-view fight, uh, you know, big fight for th for this year, 2015. And my last question, I asked Abel, he was up here, who he felt was the threat to Gennady. He named four names. I think Gennady would be favored against those four names. But the one guy that people always point to is Andre Ward. Do you feel that's the 
the nemesis for, for Gennady? I know he can't fight now, but is that the one fight that down the line is the one that's really going to test Gennady and, and you know, be the fight of his, that's going to kind of highlight his career a little bit? Well, certainly Andre's proven a lot in the, in the super middleweight division. I mean, he's a, he's a great champion. You know, he's unfortunately had the, the promotional issues that he's going through. He's not active right now. But, you know, if that fight can be made, that, that, that's a big fight, you know. And, and I, I don't think he's a nemesis. I mean, it's not taking anything away from Andre. Certainly a great champion, but I, I don't see anyone that we've talked about right now uh, beating Gennady. So that would, be, that would be a great test for him, and I think that would be a great fight. Thank you, Tom. Good luck, and appreciate the interview.